Hello friends, happy Sunday and happy Father's Day. I have the utmost of respect for any man who is a role model to a child. Your, your actions, your deeds, the way you live your life, they, they are showing children the way to live right. And for that I have the utmost of respect, believe me. It doesn't matter to me if you're blood, step, whatever, it doesn't matter. With that said, I wanted to take a moment to talk about what happens when your plan might hit a snafu. And if you're unfamiliar with the term snafu, it originates from World War II. It is an army acronym, and it stands for Situation Normal All. And being a Sunday, I am going to use a replacement for the letter F, and we will say Situation Normal All Fouled Up. Yes. Well... If you encounter a snafu, then I think that probably the first thing you have to do is assess what is situation normal. If you don't have the baseline of what normal is, then you don't know what you're trying to aim to get things to return to. And in strategy, that, that's really a bad idea. You, you don't want to try to return things to the unknown because you, you have no idea where that's going to go or how that will work. So. If you're taking a calculated risk and you're trying to assess a situation, then you need the adaptability and the flexibility to address the situation in a manner that diffuses it and or mitigates any risk. Pardon me. And yes, I am that cheap old man who like actually will keep water bottles from somebody else's house if I haven't finished them yet. I know, but water is a precious resource, and you know, even though we have it in abundance in Florida, there are places that don't. So we should all respect that, and I try. I do try. So if your situation normal is all fouled up, then you need to know, number one, what is your baseline? Number two, you need to find out the information, because if you don't know where it's coming from, then you really don't know how to react. And it's very important. As humans, people tend to always want to immediately try to look at things from their perspective, defend themselves from their perspective, create whatever argument or scapegoat or whatever they want. And there's a massive problem with that, a huge massive problem. And that is that you're, you're addressing something that you don't know what the issue is. So the best thing you can do when you encounter such a situation best thing you can do is always revert <clears throat> to the one true thing we know, that we know is fact beyond the shadow of a doubt, and that is that the truth shall set you free. It will. It will. Now, having the faith in having, that the truth will set you free, that's a different story. But if you know the truth and you are committed to the truth, then no matter how long it will take, then that truth is, is really what's going to hold you steady. And if for some reason that truth is something that other people cannot swallow or whatever, then, I mean, that's on them. But if you're telling the truth, then what else do you have? And I'd strongly, strongly encourage you not to read in between the lines on those statements. There is no in between the lines. Um, I'm in a situation where someone who I really treasure and value greatly um, has come to a conclusion that I don't know how it got there. And the important part with that is that, number one, I know wherever the, tr wherever the truth will lead me, that any true friend will be there. I know that. And I have the faith that I know that whatever I do, I'm doing it with the right intentions and with the right purpose. And I have to understand that that does not mean I am a hero to anyone. I didn't expect it to. I don't want to be. Watch the other videos. I will repeatedly tell everyone, do not do what I've done. Do not take advice from me. Seriously, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. 
I am an absolute non-professional in anything you can think of, including counseling, the law. There's only one area of expertise I have, one. And um, that one is not even a part of this conversation at the moment. So, But this is the thing. If you, do know, if you do what you know is right, and you always, always do what you know is right, then in the end, you'll be able to sleep at night and know that you did the best you could. And you have to accept that sometimes, in situations, your best is not going to be good enough. It's not. And that's OK, because that means you're in the wrong situation at the wrong time. And as long as you do not lose sight of your goal, then you will be able to go back to your redundancies, adjust your plans, and everything works out. It does. It does. I promise you. I took a lot of project planning courses and process improvement courses. and Maybe the way I explain it is kind of like, you know, folksy. But I can assure you, it's a scientifically proven fact. It works. Happy Father's Day, everyone. God bless you. And if you don't believe in God, I'll respect that, because this world's big enough that you know, we need everybody. And whatever you do believe in, may it give you many, many blessings. And I hope you find the joy in life that I know I have found because it has definitely brought me to peace. And that is a gift I wish I could give to everyone. Peace, love,